we have now a series of videos where we try to cover how the agile process works in the IT company. This is a very important information for all the freshers or let's say the candidate recently joined the IT companies or the undergraduates who are waiting for the, their turn in corporate life. So as of 2022 data, almost 98% of the IT companies are moved to the agile software development life cycle where they have the regular scrum process. So by adopting this agile process, companies employees productivity enhance almost double. Yeah, but this is also true that sometimes due to this agile process, employees work life balance will be difficult. So for a software development, many SDLC processes followed like previously all the industry were using the waterfall model for software development and now all move to the agile process. Let's see first few terms that is used in the Agile process like uh, Jira which is kind of a product development tracking tools in the Agile. Then we have the Scrum which is kind of a sub process in the Agile process. And then we have the Scrum Master, one person who handle the Scrum. Then we have the Sprint Planning, User Story, Task, Daily Stand Up, Retrospect, Sprint Backlogs. Then we have the Stakeholders. So before going the details in all these terms with examples, Let's see first why the industry rejected the waterfall model and ad adopted the agile process. Well, uh, waterfall model is a sequential model. Like assume you gather the requirement from the customer and you start the software development process. So you first do the architectural design, then implement it, code it, and then test it and then deploy into the production environment as a customer deliverables. This process looks simple, but it has a lot of flaws like uh, what if the customer requirement is changes in between the development process or what if during the initial process of the requirement analysis we miss some scenario for the development anything can happen right during the software development so it has no allowance for the uncertainty and testing is always done at the later phase of the project also this kind of a model does not work well with the complex or the large projects so due to all these issues we move to the iterative model which is called the agile process which is very flexible in accepting the changes and more customer focus approach resulting in increased customer satisfaction so in the next video we will see what are these terms that is frequently used in the agile process